Looks like John Cena has gone Hollywood. He's NWO for life now. The following contest is an elimination match. And his for the WWE United States Championship. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 251 pounds. John Cena. The rock music, the bad attitude. Is this really John Cena? Seeing Cena wearing the NWO black and white, something just isn't right about this. has changed. If you ask me, the big names still pull the strings. Guys, could you imagine if Wyatt had been in the NWO? As if that snake needed more heads. Bray would have been looking to usher in a new world order of his very own. The man who turned WCW on its head, the ringleader of the NWO, and representing the NWO from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 302 pounds, Hollywood Hogan! Already a dominant champion in WWE. Now Hollywood Hogan rules over WCW with an iron fist thanks to the NWO. Taking your vitamins, Byron. 
Uh, I guess if you ask Hollywood Hogan, the reality is that those will only take you so far. Now Hogan feels like he needs to bend the rules to get ahead. No, 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 no. Hogan is simply no longer bound by the rules, Saxton. Hulk Hogan cannot be stopped. True giant of sports entertainment, Kevin Nash. And he made it to the top all on his own terms. And representing the NWO from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 328 pounds, Kevin Nash. This is a man considered the architect of one of the most revolutionary factions ever in sports entertainment, the New World Order. Systematically destroying legends, winning titles, and changing the industry. Kevin Nash will destroy you in the ring, and then, after he's finished, he'll destroy you all over again on social media. Trust me, I've lived it. You know, I've been wondering about that. I think Kevin Nash actually blocked me by mistake. <laughs> it wasn't a mistake when I did it. One of the coolest and most confident competitors ever. Representing the NWO from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 280 pounds, Scott Hall. Scott Hall is a history maker, not just on the microphone, but inside the ring as well. We use the term game changer quite often, but before our eyes is quite literally a man who changed the entire industry. You know, I hate to say it, but Scott Hall actually makes being bad look kind of good. I hate to say this, but occasionally you're right, Saxton. Ha ha! One more for the good guy. The driving force behind Nitro beating Raw during the infamous Monday Night Wars. One of the most brilliant minds this industry has ever known. And representing the NWO from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 195 pounds, Eric Bischoff. A man not to be messed with. The only promoter to beat WWE on a national basis. Bischoff has had a career of shocking moments. Who can forget when he actually became the general manager of Raw?
the engine of D-Generation X and the NWO. Has taken down foes of all shapes and sizes and has the championships to prove it. Consider the glue of D-Generation X. Throughout history, where great moments happen in this business, X-Pac usually isn't far behind. Well, I think some great moments might be in store here tonight for X-Pac. In an eight-pack challenge, the rules are simple. Eight superstars in the ring together, but everyone for themselves. First fall to a finish via pinfall or submission wins it all. The potential for chaos is, to put it lightly, very high. Now the opponent, he thinks he has it. Only a one count before the kick out. Still no end in sight here. be a concern for these superstars. While it certainly can be a factor, I don't think it should be a concern. The only thing you should be concerned about is getting the win. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Sleeper hold cinched in deep. And breaks out of the sleeper, followed by a stop. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Good right kick. Kick to the gut. Something here. Check your face out of that one. Shoulders down. Kicks out on a pinfall attempt. He can do it here. But now we see Wyatt. Then he gets the shoulder up before two. He's not even close to being done yet. And this one might be headed ringside. Bringing out that kendo stick means he is truly willing to go to the extreme. Between the shoulders. A massive atomic drop. He's feeling the effects of that last hit.
display of near superhuman resilience. After seeing that, it's hard to imagine what it's going to take to keep this competitor down. And Cena has to hammer down now. He was only inches away from gaining the three count. Oh, no, 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 no. And an elbow. Ooh. Here's Pac able to adapt. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. We might be close to the end. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up.
Cena with a reversal. Ooh, stiff punch. John Cena looking to end this. Attitude adjustment. Does the Hulkster have strength to recover? And it's Cena. Unexpected result there. Not the position you want to be in right now. Oh, the Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. The crossface chicken wing. There is no way that Wyatt taps out here. No way. Look at breaking the legs and now breaking the arms. <laughs> Booty boot. He's returning fire. Damn. Line hits its mark. He catches Cena with a counter. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Drop kick gets the mark. He may get the three count right here. I think so. I thought he had it. You gotta be kidding me. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. Oh, 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 what a punch. Half Nelson applied. Into a neck breaker. Phenomenal. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Cena telegraphed that. Oh, sit out slam. Able to evade. Yokes up their opponent. Sidewalk slam delivered. Boom. Gets Clover with the axe handle. Boom. Axe handle finds the mark. Oh. He was waiting for him to make his move. Unbelievable athleticism. That could have been it right there. But meanwhile, Wyatt. Puts a stop to fix. What a cross body. Cena powering up his opponent into position for the AA. Is that going to decide it for Cena? Two count. Elimination. Brand brand eliminate. Comes to an end. Short throw line hits its mark. Six was ready there. Oh, man, spine crushing impact. And here's John Cena. <laughs> and then the patented five knuckle shuffle. Six could be moments away from being beaten. Unloading their best shot, lots more. Mindset going into this match, and now he has the hardware to go along with it.